Hey everyone, welcome to this <laughs> to this very odd video that I haven't seen anyone do ever. I guess because of caveat number one. Don't get offended if you get a low ranking. It's not personal. My channel will be a lower ranking right now. Also, it's free advertisement for you. Also, I'll make my criteria very clear. Only one of my criteria items will be personal preference, so please take that in consideration. And number three, uh, that might be or not might be a series. So if it becomes a series, you might rank better next time. I don't know. Which brings me to caveat number two. This might become a series, but if it does, it will be a uh, not every month or so because I mean there are not that many channels in Godot right now. Which brings me to caveat number three. We are all in this together. We love Godot. We all do. So please don't get offended. <laughs> I'm really stressing that point out because I'm nervous to be to offend someone. But really, just just don't. And if Godot gets bigger, and I hope it will, we might have more and more channels to put here, okay? With that all being said, let's begin. Which are my criteria? Well, criteria number one, channel quality. What does quality mean? Well, it ranks from voice, from good quality, good audio quality. For example, my audio quality right now isn't the best one because my English is still stuttering, and that's something I'm struggling with, but I know that persisting, it will get better over time. It is also something like good thumbnails, to the point tutorials. Mrs. has done a, a good video that I'll put over here in the card about it and GD Quest as well. What quality means, how to make a good tutorial video. All right. Number two is consistency because you know, consistency plays a huge role in my opinion because it's not good enough that you have a great tutorial and you uploaded it six months ago and disappeared because I don't know, it's a little bit sad for us consuming our tutorials. So if you are consistent, at least with your videos, not necessarily with your tutorials, I know that doing tutorials can be tiresome. <laughs> Since I'm not doing one right now, I'm doing a fun video. But consistency plays a major role as well, okay? Number three is a little bit unfair, but also fair for the consumers, that is size of the channel, because being honest here, a channel, a small channel like mine right now, has a huge chance of just disappearing over time, and that is life, because people get jobs, people give up on YouTube, people get nervous. It's okay, but it's also important to measure here, because a channel with 100k subscribers is probably not going anywhere. But a, a channel with 100 subscribers or less, like mine again, can disappear anytime. But honestly, mine is not going anywhere. I uh, have a full time job that can finance me over here for a good, good long time. Okay. Number four, originality. Well, this one's kind of personal. It's, it goes number five, but I don't know. It's like something, not the bread and butter you see everywhere, you know. For example, Mrs. Zizi, 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 Zizi. <laughs> is a good example of this one. He's very original. Also, GD Quest is kind of original. And a few other ones. I guess Drew Conley as well is original, as you see eventually in this video. Finally, personal preference. This, this one is just personal preference. I mean, there's not a lot to explain here. Okay, with that all being said, let's begin. Channel number one. Archive. Well, let's go over here. Who is Archive? Archive is this channel over here that has begun doing Godot tutorials a month ago and honestly has been quite consistent. One month ago, one month, one month, one month, four weeks, two weeks, two weeks, one week, 14 hours ago. And I mean, I have seen his tutorials and he's He's very, very good, honestly, and, and it's a good channel, but it is small. And so far, it's kind of original because, I mean, he's not teaching us a Pong, a Space Shooter, something basic. He's teaching us something kind of original, so I, I don't know, I like him. It's not that a uh, huge channel right now, but for me, it's a B ranking right now. Oh, and by the way, let me just delete the D ranking because really, nobody deserves a D over here. All right then, that's our key for you. Born CG. Well, Born CG is something different because it's not necessarily a Godot channel. You can see that it also has a lot of Blender channels, but huge quality ones. I mean, look at those thumbnails. And if you watch them, they are they are very, very good. But you can see that Godot has only become a, a focus recently, like one year ago to now. But that's okay, because he has been quite consistent with his videos on this series, on this 2D platformer. And although the videos are very long, like 30 minutes, one hour long, he manages to, to keep your interest all along through the video. So, and the videos, I can't stress that enough, they are like huge quality, okay? So for all that, it's not that that original, but you don't have to be that original when you are that good, okay? So because of all that, 
For me, it's an A channel. Congratulations. <laughs> Cold and more. Let's see. Cold and more surfers a little bit from what I said about Born CG. It's not a Godot folks channel. You can see it had some beginner electronic series. I mean, really, I I, I have no interest in that, but like 100,000 people has, so have. So who am I to say anything? And I mean, he has been quite consistent from a month two months kind of till now because uh, it's one month but you know how youtube goes it's one month and 29 days so and it's a space shooter it's not very much original but he's consistent enough he's not going anywhere i i hope so so for all of that let's just give him a b as well okay let's go daniel hoffman daniel hoffman as you can see is someone that started on youtube years ago started with unity and just disappeared for a while, perhaps he, had, he got a job, had something else better to do, but recently has started doing Godot videos again, like eight months ago, but two months ago, one month ago, and his videos are good quality ones, but since he's kind of small and honestly there has only been three videos of Godot in the last eight months, I don't know Daniel, <laughs> I like you, I like your style, but... I must be honest, you are still ranking right now. Please don't, <laughs> please don't, don't get upset with me. That being said, let's go to Drew Conley. I might be biased over here, but I love this style. I love his pixel style. And I love, I love this. I love how he focused his Godot tutorials in a niche inside Godot. I mean, Godot right now is kind of niche, but making a, a series about... Godot for people who know JavaScript is genius, genius. And he has been so consistent lately that, I don't know, even though he's small, he's the smaller one so far, I guess, I like him so much that I'll give him a huge and deserved B. All right, then. Well, GD Quest. <laughs> GD Quest is like the, the king of Godot tutorials right now, because as you have something like Rex for Unity, you have GD Quest for Godot. It's also a good measurement of how, how far you can go with Godot channel right now, because honestly, I don't know anyone bigger than them, and they deserve to be the number one, because the, the rate of tutorials they release, and it's not only video tutorials, they have a lot of text tutorials that is nice for when, when you're not so much a beginner anymore or you don't like videos. And I love everything about them. They are doing a, a huge job for the community. They just got hired for Godot to work on the documentation. So it's amazing. They, they are a tight team, but very, very, very competent one. <laughs> the only thing that I don't like is it's this kind of video that, uh, I know it began with a Blender channel, I can't remember the name right now, doing these one minute to do a huge stuff. And honestly, I really hate those kind of videos because you see, for every topic out there, you have a pyramid of people that consists mostly of very beginner people, all right? So beginner that they haven't done anything in this topic. Then you have beginner people that are trying something right now, intermediate, advanced, and I don't know, masters. Those kind of videos, they are, they are really appealing for two, two segments on this pyramid. The very beginner people and the intermediate to advanced. But that's a trap because the very beginner people will look at these videos and get excited because, oh, oh my God, I can make something so nice in one minute. But actually, this, those kind of videos are really sped up and you can't actually follow them. And when you actually do and you are a really beginner, you get very frustrated. So, and, and it's a tricky one because you as the channel owner, you'll get a lot of commentary and a lot of positive feedback like, oh, it was so amazing, I learned so much. But it's a lie most of the time, like 99% of the time, it's very beginner people that think they have learned something and when they try to implement it, they will fail and I don't know, I guess it's just, just me rambling about something. But <laughs> anyway, it's just one video among lots and lots and lots of great videos, great quality, great, great tutorials, great everything. And for all of that, they deserve a huge, huge S in my concept. Well. With that being said, Godot Engine official channel. Don't expect to learn a lot here. This is more of a news channel. But I mean, if you are serious about Godot, you should be following them. So <laughs> with that being said, I guess they deserve an B, A, B, A, da, 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 da. Hey, A ranking only because they are the official channel and you should be following them, obviously. No question about it. That being said, Godot tutorials. I mean, I, I have seen this guy a few months ago. Yeah, like 
three months ago when we started this series. And he's been so consistent. He's so good. He teaches so slowly and so uh, slowly in a good way. So with a lot of details. And I mean, it's just a huge Wikipedia of Godot. And, and I mean, you can see this guy love Godot's because because look at look at the, uh, his cover. Look at his thumbnail. It, it's just a, a high school for Godot. And honestly, although it's not very original, but it's very consistent and good quality. It deserves a huge B in my book. Huge B. Yay! That brings us to Greg Dev stuff. Well, Greg Dev stuff doesn't really focus on Godot. You can see his last Godot video was a month ago, and I I only follow him. I mean, no offense, Greg. I know you're a great guy, and like all of us, you're just doing your efforts over here. I follow him because his tutorials are about Godot C Sharp that almost no channels right now cover. That's why I'm covering them, by the way. And since his last video was a month ago, he's he's not quite focused on Godot and more, more on stuff, actually. <laughs> I'll just give him a C ranking, no offense, because, I mean, honestly, if you want to, to become a better Godot channel, you're just not that focused on Godot right now, and that's okay if that's what you want. Which brings us to my favorite one, Heart Beast. I mean, it's just personal preference, but I love this guy. I love his style. I've loved this series. This series over here. I, I mean, it was my first series on Godot. I, I love ARPGs. I love everything about this series. He, al he also has a paid course. Uh, it's a one-bit Godot course. And I mean, I loved it so much that I'm tempted to give him an S ranking, but I won't. <laughs> because, I mean, the less true tutorials in this channel were the random level ones and... I mean, he does a lot of uh, devlogs and there are quite good ones. I, I recommend you watching this, but devlogs aren't that useful for beginners. So I don't know. I love this guy. I love this guy, but I'm just going to give him an A ranking. <laughs> Can I put over here? Yeah, the first one A ranking. My heart says S ranking, but being rational, I must give him just an A. Just an A. <laughs> Wow. Which brings us to JMBIV. JMBIV is just a small channel right now that's doing a, a very consistent series about top-down shooter for Godot. It's in GD script, not C sharp. It's a shame. <laughs> but he's been very consistent with it, and it's kind of original right now, honestly. He's not the best one out there. And since he's kind of small, but I don't know, his videos could get a bit of more of polishing. I mean, no offense, mine could as well. So I'm just going to give it a C. C ranking right now. No offense though. Which brings us to Kids Can Code. Kids Can Code, I mean, honestly, their proposal is just very nice. Every child should learn to code. It's just, it's very nice. They have a Patreon if, and if you want to support them, just go ahead. But their videos, I mean, I don't know if it was the, <laughs> the pandemic that affected everyone, but they haven't posted in quite a while. They might be cooking something and I don't know about it. But since they they have to be so didactic because they teach to children, it's very good to follow them. And I don't know, it's just... It's just cozy, you know. They are a very good channel, and you can see they are not going anywhere right now because 37,000 subscribers. I mean, it, for a Godot standards, it's a very large in size, so I don't know. They, they are quite good. I don't know if I give them a B ranking or A ranking, but for the proposal, I'll give a A rank. Hey, which brings us to this. <laughs> <laughs> to this guy over here. I mean, you can see he's so amateurish that he doesn't even have a cover photo right now. I mean, we all know this is what makes or breaks a YouTube channel. He only has four videos. And honestly, his English is so bad right now. He has some nice edits here and there and he seems kind of original, but he's so small and so bad. I know he covers Godot C Sharp and intermediate level tutorials right now, but I, I don't I don't trust this guy. I think he's he's just dying. I, I, I would give him a D, but I would just give him a C since C is the lowest ranking over here. But he's the worst. So I, I honestly don't know how to, to pronounce it and every time I must search for him I just start typing Z I Z I Z I Z I and eventually I hope YouTube will show me his channel. <laughs> he's very original one. I guess he's the most original one of all those channels, but Honestly, if you are searching for beginner tutorials over here, you won't find any. I don't know if just because he doesn't have patience for that, or if he's too busy developing games, uh, you know, as some of us should be, myself included. But he's so funny and he has some, some insights about the industry that other channels don't provide. So, although he's very big, he's almost one of the biggest in Godot scene, I guess I'll give him a B. I know he probably is an A in some people's books, but he's a B for me. Don't get offended. Which brings us to Records Games. 
Records Gangs is the last channel on this list because you know his uh <laughs> his name is starts with an R, so yeah. He's a small one, but he covers Godosi Sharp. And I like this guy because he covers Godosi Sharp. He's consistent enough. He would deserve a B, but <laughs> I, I got annoyed with him with a, 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 it's a detail, but it shouldn't be a problem. What I mean by that is that I only discovered this series on Reddit because he commented there, but he hasn't put any tag about Godosi Sharp. And when you search for Godosi Sharp tutorials, like I'm doing right now, you can find him. Even if you put upload date, you'll find me, but not him. So, <laughs> Rackers, I, I love your channel, but for that alone, and since you are small like me and etc., I'll give you a C ranking right now, all right? I know you can become a B ranking eventually. And that's it, guys. I know it's been a, a different channel. Uh, I know it's been a different video from the usual ones, although I don't have a lot of videos right now to, to have usual ones, but I loved doing that. I know I haven't covered every channel out there, but then again, if I forgot any, please comment below so I can make justice. And I loved it. I think every six months or so I might do it again because some channels might rise, some channels might fall. But right now, this is what I think. Please don't get offended. I mean, I think I'm the worst of all right now. <laughs> and I think we are all in this together. So congratulations. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe if you like it. This channel usually has mm, pretty normal videos also. But to be honest, I also like those fun videos because this channel is not named Made a Game Dev in vain. I mean, it's because I do game dev tutorials, but also I go beyond that sometimes. And if you liked it, again, give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more. And if you hated it, well, <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, I, I'm really sorry, but I hope you liked it. Okay, that's it for now and see you in the next one.